Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your October 2024 horoscope. The first half of October can be quite intense. And even though the second half is a little bit easier, there are still a lot of transits to still experience in the second half. So let's jump right into the horoscope. We start off the month on October 2nd with a solar eclipse. No big deal, right, Sagittarius? So this solar eclipse is a new moon in the sign of Libra. For you, Sagittarius, this new moon is happening in your 11th house of community, friendship, long-term plans and vision, uh, the house of recognition as well. So you might be experiencing a new beginning, a faded new beginning in those areas of your life. Perhaps something happens with your uh, community, with your group of friends. Uh, perhaps you receive a recognition that you didn't expect before. We have a lot of planets during this eclipse that are retrograde. Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto are all retrograde. Therefore, it don't feel pressured to take any actions right away uh, during the eclipse or shortly after it. The fact that so many planets are retrograde does mean that we need to think before we act. We need to process things, reflect on them before a clear decision um, can be made or be even before a clear decision becomes available to us or becomes known to us. And one final thing I will say about the solar eclipse is that it is happening in the Deccan that is ruled by Uranus. Uranus is the planet of unexpected changes. So it could happen that the events uh, are surrounding this solar eclipse happen out of nowhere or come as a surprise to you. Two days later, on October 4th, we have Saturn trine Venus. For you, this is highlighting your 4th and 12th house. With Saturn in your 4th house, you might have been feeling some restriction uh, regarding your family or regarding your home. Perhaps you've had to have been really disciplined, really strict with setting boundaries with your family, or maybe even uh, really disciplined uh, surrounding things with your home, like renovations uh, or anything of that matter. And on this day, because Saturn is trying by Venus in your 12th house, you might find that your spiritual practice, your compassion, the side of you that views everybody just as humans, no matter what they earn, no matter their titles at work, no matter where they live, this side of you might especially be helping you with your family situation. It might be making it easier for you to deal with some of those more difficult situations. Then we get to October 9th and 11th when we have two planets changing direction. And to be fair, no planet ever changes the direction of their movement. It's just how it appears to us from Earth. So on October 9th, we have Jupiter. Uh, it starts to go retrograde. And on the 11th, we have Pluto. And Pluto will go direct. So these two planets changing direction, when they do that switch over, when they go from moving one direction, sort of slowing down and then moving the other direction, it's in this period that we usually feel this shift quite intensely. For you, Sagittarius, on October 9th, Jupiter will go retrograde in your seventh house of relationships. So uh, you might have been finding it very easy since May of this year to deal with your partner. Maybe you've had a lot of um, easy situations with your partner or finding it very easy to get along with them and to uh, just establish an equal partnership. And now that Jupiter is retrograde, you are being asked to take a look at whether you're taking these opportunities for granted, whether you are not really using them to your full ability, uh, whether you're letting them slide and forgetting to really enjoy them and, and make use of them. 
And then on October 11th, Pluto will go direct in your second house. Pluto is finally on its way out of your second house after a couple of times going in and out. But this is going to be the final time it will be there, at least in your lifetime. And now that Pluto is going direct, about to leave your second house, it's really asking you to, in a way, put your money where your mouth is. The second house is the house of self-confidence, self-esteem, also the house of finances. And with Pluto there, now you're really being asked to put all of the things that you have learned about what it means to love yourself and to accept yourself and to show up for yourself, to put all of that into action. Then we get to October 13th and 14th, which is actually a really interesting two-day period. We have the sun trining Jupiter, which usually is a very positive, beautiful aspect, one that helps us feel excited and optimistic. And especially because both the sun and Jupiter are in air signs, we might especially be feeling, um, we might especially be having optimistic ideas and thoughts and ideas of where we want to go in the future that excite us. However, the thing that makes this uh, trine interesting is that we also have two a little bit more challenging aspects going on at the same time. One is the Sun squaring Mars and the other is Venus opposing Uranus. What these challenging aspects sort of tell me and what my advice would be to all Sagittarius and actually to all the zodiac signs is not to get too ahead of ourselves. While it is nice to be excited and inspired and feel optimistic, the square to Mars illustrates that our actions are not able to support our grand ideas just yet. And the opposition with Venus and Uranus is also showing us that while we want to be unique and make these unexpected actions, uh, put these weird, interesting new ideas into action, at the same time, we feel uh, a bit torn towards, but we still want to keep peace. We still want to keep everybody around us. Um, pleased or happy or, you know, to maintain the peace and harmony and have a sense of belonging. For you, Sagittarius, the sun and Jupiter will be in your house of partnership and in your house of community. So I would advise you any sort of exciting ideas you have around your partnership or in regards to your friendships or the groups you belong to, just be be excited, definitely, but also be a little bit cautious as to whether these things are achievable, at least for the time being. Then on October 17th, we have a full moon in Aries in your fifth house. This means that there is a new beginning when it comes to your self-expression, your creativity, and just taking pleasure in day-to-day life. During this full moon, we have Venus sextiling Pluto. So you might especially be addressing your sense of self-worth and your spiritual side. You might be really asked to tap into both of those things in order to fully express yourself, in order to fully know what it means to have fun and enjoyment. And then we're on to the second part of the month, which I promised would be a little bit easier. On October 18th, we have Venus entering your first house or the sign of Sagittarius. For you, this means that you might be a bit more charismatic, attracting attention. You might even really like how you appear. You might sort of look in the mirror and just be like, damn, I look good today. (laughs) So I hope you enjoy that, Sagittarius. A couple of days later, on October 22nd, we have the sun squaring Pluto. And even though this can be an intense aspect, it is quite quick, which shows to me that the effects of it are not really something that are that is life changing, but instead something that will just it will be very prominent, very impactful, but just for a couple of days. 
for you specifically, Sagittarius, there might be something happening in your friendship group or in the groups that you belong to, you know, like if you're uh, going to sports groups or participating in volunteering, for example, something happening there that is really asking you to step into your power and step into your self-confidence. Really showcase that you are standing up for yourself, taking care of yourself as well. A day later, after the sun uh, squares Pluto, right at those final degrees of Libra, the next day on the 23rd, it enters the sign of Scorpio. For you, Sagittarius, this is your 12th house. So from this day uh, up to a month, you are probably going to feel a lot more rejuvenated when you spend time alone. You are going to need this alone time in order to feel alive and excited about life. And it's important that in this alone time, you also take some time to reflect, go introspective. We're not talking about alone time scrolling on uh, platforms of your choice, but it's more about um, meaningful alone time with reflection and perhaps even with a spiritual practice, whatever that means for you. And even though I left uh, a couple of transits, not too many, just two or three out of this horoscope, a couple of them sextiles, uh, there is one sextile later in the month that I do want to talk about. And this is because the sextile is between Mars and Uranus, which can both be quite temperamental planets. This sextile is happening on October 24th. For you, Sagittarius, this is a sextile between your ninth and sixth house. So it could be that the unique routines or unique health practices, unique diets that you've been trying out are also giving you a sort of vigor and like invigorating and bringing passion back into your whole life principles and life values. Uh, it could also work vice versa. The time that you're spending educating yourself, uh, perhaps traveling, exploring your horizons, broadening your horizons, uh, the time you're spending thinking about your values and your life philosophies are also having a really good impact on your routine and your health, are giving you fresh ideas on how you could do something a bit different, a bit unique, that's really just your own, whether your exercise routine, whether your diet, whether um, the way you take care of your body, the way you sleep, there is some sort of nice uh, synergy happening around that day. And finally, we close off the month on October 28th with Venus squaring Saturn. This is a square that can feel quite weird because Venus is all about beauty and harmony and connection. And Saturn is about restrictions, setting boundaries and putting in the hard work. Venus is in your first house, Saturn is in your fourth, so you might be one of the signs, Sagittarius, that really feels this square, and therefore you're rounding off the month of October, perhaps in a less pleasant way. Honestly, the way I see this transit is that your unique expression, you being your own unique individual, dressing the way you want, speaking the way you want, um, your identity is somehow triggering your family is somehow uh, triggering those that you live with or impacting your home environment and making you set some boundaries there uh, so that you are able to continue to be your own individual and you can remove from yourself from some of the enmesh enmeshment that can sometimes happen uh, with those closest to us like our family. So overall, Sagittarius, you have some family focus and focus on your friends. So I hope you're excited for lots of interpersonal um, ideas and challenges and opportunities coming your way. Thanks for joining me, Sagittarius. And don't forget that if you want to learn more about the eclipse at the beginning of October, you can access the live that I did right here. Thanks again, Sagittarius, and I hope to see you again soon.